With Docker Data Center being an enterprise grade tool, strong role based access control is a major part of it. In this video, we'll look at how to leverage teams and labels to implement a strong and flexible role based access model. So here's the scenario. Imagine you work at a company developing an app called Mega App. And internally, they're set up with a dev team and an ops team. It's just an example, right? The dev team needs to be able to build the app, push it to the repo, a bunch of other stuff, right? But the ops team needs more access. They pretty much need to be able to do anything on the cluster to keep the app up and running. Oh, and there's a biz team that just needs to be able to look at things but never change anything. Well, let's go and have a look at how we might implement that. So here we are in Universal Control Plane, that management UI part of Docker Data Center. Well, we want to be in user management up here and see how we've already got a bunch of users on the system. Well, we need three teams, right? Dev, Ops and Biz. So if we hit Create by Teams and let's go with Dev first. And uh, Betty, Mike and Vivek, they're all part of this team. Then under permissions, we need to create a label. Now, the name's arbitrary, but I think we'll call it Mega App. And the dev guys only need restricted control. Now then, the way it works is like this. We've just given the dev team restricted control to anything that we tag with that mega app label. Right now that's nothing okay, but it's really powerful because it means that we can now go ahead and stick the label onto resources and whatever that resource is, the dev team's gonna get restricted control of it. And restricted control might sound a bit vague and it does have slightly different impact depending on the type of resource. But yeah, that's it. Tag something with the mega app label and the dev guys are gonna get restricted control. Okay, but we need two more teams. So ops next. That's Chris, Jenny and myself. And under permissions, we'll go with the mega app label again. Only this group gets full control. So again, we're building a picture here. Any objects on the cluster tagged with this mega app label now not only are the devs going to get restricted control, but the ops team are now going to get full control. And by the way, if somebody was a member of both dev and ops, well, then they'd get the full control. But we need to complete the trio. So let's create the biz team. Solomon's on that. And these guys get view only. And that is that. So we've got our three teams here loaded with members and we've got the mega app permissions label. So let's say we need to deploy a service as part of mega app. Well, check this out down here, permissions label. And that is ours right there. Well, I tell you what, we'll fill out the rest of the service in the background. It doesn't really matter about all of the detail for now. We only care about that permissions label. And once that is deployed, if we look at it here, there's the permissions label. Now then, we created the service with three replicas or containers. And if we click on one of them here, and look at the labels here, that's our access label, mega app. So we've tagged the service with the label and the three containers it spun up inherited it. All right, well, if I switch browsers here, we've got three tabs. Let's log on first as Solomon. Remember, he's just a member of the biz team with access to pretty much nothing. Okay, well, we can see straight away, he sees less on the nav bar at the top here. But if we look for the service, and let's see if he can scale it. Remember, he's got view only by way of that label, right? And there we go, access denied. But what about Mike on this tab? He's a member of the dev team, so he's got a bunch more access as part of restricted control. Well, let's see if he can scale it. Yep, 
All right, he can. But how's about getting a shell onto one of the containers in the replica? Just a simple shell. And this is a Docker exec command behind the scenes, by the way. Right, access denied. So that's restricted control kicking in there. But on this last tab, if I log in as me, and yeah, I'm sure you can guess what's going to happen, right? But we'll go through it anyway. We'll try for that same shell session. And there we go. Full control does what it says on the tin. So that's a quick look at users, teams and labels in Docker Data Center. To learn more, come and visit us at www.docker.com slash enterprise. To learn more, come and visit us at www.docker.com slash enterprise.